Today we get to travel to La Libera. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, a site that is built to be the second Jerusalem in Ethiopia. So, enjoy. So as today's a traveling day, we're gonna go to the airport and then from the airport have about a 45 minute flight to La Libella. Life. Fantastic, I slept amazing <laughs> and then there were great views. <laughs> After we land, there's about 30 minute drive to our hotel. No adventure is complete without some hiccup. So as we're going up the hill towards uh, the Lali Bella churches from the airport, we had some car trouble. We scared some people. We had to move some people in, into the, our other car, into the van, get the load off. How far is that from here? Oh, right here is uh, five kilometers away from here. No, it's not far. No, it's not And then we made it safely to our hotel. What an experience. <laughs> And one thing I want to tell you guys about this hotel is actually when Bill Clinton came to Ethiopia and went to La Libella, this is where he stayed.
This is the church, the first church we are going to visit, okay? This is what you call Beta Medhaniel, or the house of the savior of the world, or the redeem of the world, actually. So what makes Lalibela is actually very unique, there are three points actually related with this. The first one is, since it is 900 years old, and the only church in the entire Christian world, which is carved out from one huge monolithic rock. Okay, this is one rock. This is just one rock. So all the churches actually who are going to visit all are carved out from one huge monolithic rock. Since they are carved out from one rock, they are connected each other by passageways, laverns, and caves. So we're gonna throw that way to get one to the other, okay? So it's also very interesting. The second thing is actually still a very active worship place. So still there are services going on. You can hear it actually. The voice comes from the church. The other is also as Christian church, the churches we are going to visit all are oriented east-west direction, okay? So this is the east, that is the west. So it measures actually 33 meters long, 22 meters wide, and still 12 meters deep. Actually, this is the best model, or the best model for the entire Rocky and Church of Lalibela because it's really very huge, and also it combines all the styles, all the styles which is reflected in Lalibela Rocky and Church all together, okay? The history of how it's built has a few different versions. One is that like King Lalibela himself built it, and angels helped him at night. The second one is King Lalibela with his workers would work all day, and then also angels would help them at night. This is the time to come inside. We're just going around, then off our shoes and coming in, okay? Beta Medhani Alam actually makes, besides its huge size, also the most important church in Lalibela Road to Church because actually it's harbor or the cross, the golden cross, like seven kilos of golden cross is kept here. As Saint and King Lalibela, actually King Lalibela is the responsible person or saint or king who is actually for the excavation of Lalibela Rocky Ranchers, okay? So he was a priest and a king. This is just a rainy water, which is actually collected every year over here. So, like women, interested women, actually tied with a rope and just immersed. how painted it is. So this is the original painting actually, okay? So different kinds of painting, especially related with the Bible, especially the Old and the New Testament. And what's really most interesting is when we come to the middle, we can see the Star of David over here, okay? These are very small galleries actually to keep some of the treasures. So here is the two-headed eagles, okay? Can you see over here? Two-headed eagle over here. Here is, yeah, the Star of David with an inscription of cross, and still so many paintings. And the most important is here, a very unique pillar over here that covered or veiled for the last 500 years. So this is what you call it a pillar of light, or Amdebrahan, okay? Amdebrahan, which means the future and the past is actually inscribed on it. That's why this part is covered with curtain.
the last, but the most important, a masterpiece of Saint and the King Lalibela, okay? The only Chrissy form church in the world. So this is the youngest one relative to the other. And actually the only Rokion church, which is monolithic, isolated from the rest of the church. So sometimes it's considered as a third group. This is the last one actually we are going to have a look. Then we're going down to see it, actually what it looks like. And then once we're done with La Libella, we went to the Ben Ababa restaurant and viewpoint, which has magnificent views, beautiful views. So we had some drinks up there, just hang out, take some pictures, enjoy ourselves, and then had dinner right there. I hope you guys enjoyed day three in La Libella and it was a good day. Tomorrow, day four, we fly to Addis. We have some good experiences in Addis. We get to talk to my dad and also at night we go to, to our traditional place, to our traditional dancing. And have a great day, so see you guys tomorrow.